Hey, welcome to a new video. A homeowner was jolted from his routine when he heard his dog barking hysterically. Initially, he thought the dog was reacting to something mundane, but his curiosity turned to shock when he stepped outside and saw three strange looking creatures standing in his backyard. One of them was alarmingly close to the door, as if it could come inside at any moment. What struck him the most was their disturbing appearance. They seemed almost faceless, leaving him confused about their nature and intentions. With a mix of fear and curiosity, he decided to stay inside and quietly film the strange scene with his phone. This region had long been known for a mysterious phenomena that was considered a UFO hotspot. The longer you watch the video, the stranger these two creatures appear, and why they remain behind the fence remains a mystery. It's also quite odd that aliens are being sighted more frequently, not just near people, but in residential areas around homes. Why do you think these aliens came to his fence? Could it be a secret meeting spot, or did they have other plans? Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. In western Montana, often referred to as Big Sky Country, this state is known for unexplained phenomena. A striking image from October 2018 taken in Deer Lodge, Montana reminds us to always have a camera ready. Don Bromley, equipped with a key and more than 100 motion-sensitive cameras, was on a mission to track predators and potential intruders. One morning, as he reviewed the footage, he stumbled upon an intruder unlike any he had ever seen. The creature had two legs, but there was something odd about it. Its head seemed too large, which puzzled Don about what it really was. Upon closer inspection, particularly of the creature's bulbous head, he began to question whether it was even human. Since the camera was miles away from any roads or paths, he conducted a photo experiment, placing images of a human next to the alien and seeing how different the two figures appeared. Montana has a rich history of cryptids, with the Sasquatch being a prominent figure due to the ideal habitat for such elusive creatures. The state's also a hotspot for UFO activity, in addition to reports of attacks on cattle and horses. In June of 2019, a video went viral on the internet showing an alien-like creature walking past the driveway of a Mexican family. The video was uploaded to Facebook by the homeowner, Vivian Gomez, who asked if anyone had an idea what this creature could be. People in the comments quickly pointed out that the creature resembled Dobby, a fictional character from the Harry Potter films. Others believed that it was more likely an alien, that it lost its way back to its spaceship during the night. The most logical explanation would be that it was her nine-year-old son, who was about the same height as the creature. But both the mother and son deny this to this day. A few months later, the Inside Edition team visited the woman and had the boy recreate the moment. However, most people say that the boy's taller than the creature captured on camera. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. It's like a scene from a horror movie. Pay close attention to the bottom of the fence, and you'll see what appears to be a hand belonging to a non-human being crouching down. In June 2023, reports surfaced about aliens roaming Las Vegas after a family claimed to have seen strange beings following the crash of a mysterious object. The creature in the video seems to be peering through the fence, and you can see its fingers creeping up the fence, suggesting it's observing its surroundings. This event is said to have been captured around the same time as the Las Vegas incident. At the start of the clip, you can see an eye, and a shadowy figure appears. If you focus on the three fence posts, you'll notice the figure positioned more to the left. It's clear that these beings aren't human. They have large eyes and are absolutely not ordinary. Plus, there seems to be another creature crouched down, peeking through the fence, and they appear to be quite large. Moments like this raise intriguing questions about what may be lurking in the shadows. How would you react if you saw this on the other side of your fence? Let me know in the comments. When I was searching for videos about aliens, I found a few where they were standing by windows peering inside. One of these sightings was captured on camera by an anonymous man named Jeff sometime in 2008. He felt that he had been hearing strange sounds outside at night and decided to set up a camera. In the video, we see a creature resembling an alien looking inside and then walking away. However, there was another video I found of an alien looking through a different window. What I wonder is if these aliens are traveling light years to only look through a window. It doesn't seem very likely, but who knows? Maybe they're trying to stay out of sight and figure out what we humans are doing on Earth. They could just be very curious. In August 2023, an unusual sighting occurred along the banks of the Pocomayo River in Bolivia. Witnesses reported seeing a translucent alien, about 4 feet or 1.2 meters tall, walking along the riverbank. The creature appeared gray and transparent, with long limbs, similar to the standard aliens we know from the movies. However, this alien seemed completely unfazed by the presence of onlookers, seemingly staring directly into the camera as the photo was taken. UFO experts are examining the image for authenticity, and have dubbed the creature the Alien of Taria. One peculiar detail noted by UFOologist named Javier Carlos was that the creature didn't cast a shadow in the water, adding to the mystery. Taria has a history of extraterrestrial phenomena. 
1978, hundreds of residents reported seeing a spaceship crash into the nearby mountains. The event was so convincing that it attracted the attention of the US military, while the Bolivian army feared an apocalyptic event. All that was found was a cylindrical object embedded in the mountainside, making the incident one of the most credible alien encounters to date. The Roswell UFO incident is perhaps the most famous and controversial UFO case in history. It occurred in early July 1947, when an unidentified object crashed on a ranch near Roswell, New Mexico, sparking national attention and fueling speculation about extraterrestrial life. Initially, the US Army Air Force issued a press release, stating that they had recovered a flying disc. However, within hours, the military retracted the statement and claimed that the recovered object was merely a weather balloon. Over the years, conflicting reports and conspiracy theories emerged, suggesting that the military had covered up the true nature of this crash, and that the recovered debris was actually an extraterrestrial spacecraft. In the decades that followed, the Roswell incident became a focal point for UFO enthusiasts, researchers, and skeptics alike. It was investigated by various civilian and military organizations, and numerous books, documentaries, and media reports explored the subject. However, the US government continues to assert that the Roswell crash was related to a weather balloon used in top secret projects called the Project Mogul, designed to detect Soviet nuclear tests. A 45-year-old woman from Maine discovered something strange while using Google Street View. As she was scouring her neighborhood for a garage sale, her search took an unexpected turn when she spotted an alien which was in the back seat of a passing car. A woman whose identity has not been disclosed was browsing the digital map, hoping to find local treasures for sale on the weekend. But her browsing turned to astonishment when she noticed the unusual silhouette through the virtual lens of Street View. She decided to take a screenshot and share with friends and followers on social media. Local residents were startled by the possibility of extraterrestrial life in their area, especially given that the place is located in a region known as a UFO hotspot. This designation has led to numerous sightings and claims over the years, making the area a focal point for both paranormal enthusiasts and skeptics. Some dismissed it as a glitch in the imaging software, while others speculated on the implications of such a discovery. The Amazon rainforest is the largest rainforest on Earth, covering an area of 3 million square miles, or 7.7 .7 million square kilometers, and it's known for its vast array of wildlife. However, according to the next video, one of the British tourists named Mike Cohen accidentally captured an alien on camera, standing in the background. He was exploring the jungle with some people somewhere in the Manos region in 2011, and when he later reviewed the footage, he noticed a strange blue light and then an alien standing next to one of the trees, appearing to stretch. The footage was examined, and it turned out that this area had been monitored by the government for years under the name Operation Prado. Of course, the video could have been edited, and the story could be made up, but it sounds quite believable. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. In July 2023, the United States Congress held a historic hearing to discuss the increasing evidence surrounding unidentified flying objects and their potential implications. The hearing was prompted by a series of recent UFO sightings and encounters reported by credible sources, including military personnel, pilots, and government officials. Several witnesses presented compelling evidence, including photos, videos, and radar data. Some witnesses claim that the government possesses non-human biological material and has withheld information about UFOs. One of the key witnesses at the hearing was David Grush, a former Department of Defense employee and whistleblower. He testified alongside former military pilots and shared their own experiences with UFO sightings and encounters. During the hearing, witnesses and lawmakers expressed concerns about the potential national security implications of these unidentified flying objects. They discussed the need to understand their capabilities and intentions, as they could pose a threat to airspace integrity and national defense. However, this does not prove the existence of aliens. Do you believe that aliens have existed on Earth? Let me know in the comments. You always hear stories about aliens abducting people from fields in the middle of nowhere, but have you ever seen an alien abduction happen in real time? Moments like these raise the unsettling question, could aliens prefer a secret invasion over an open conquest? In a chilling incident, a South African farmer filmed himself being chased by what appeared to be an alien. Details about the recording and the incident remain scarce, as it took place in an undisclosed location, presumably on his own land. The farmer managed to capture the encounter and quickly shared the video online before mysteriously disappearing. Days later, the video went viral, but the farmer's fate remains a mystery. Speculation abounds about what may have happened to him after witnessing something so extraordinary. Was this a case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time? Or did something else happen to the farmer? What do you think? In the next video, a group of boys visit Area 51 to see if they can spot any aliens. They park their car on the side of the road and realize they're being watched by guards in a jeep on a hill. 
They walk to the invisible line they aren't allowed to cross and decide to film the area. It's broad daylight and according to the boys who uploaded the video, the alien suddenly walks by. Some people in the comments believe it's a real alien, while others think it's just one of their friends in a costume. The boy filming seems genuinely startled and tells the rest that they should leave as quickly as possible. Right after that, the alien also disappears. I have my doubts about the video, and there's a good chance that it was just one of their friends. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. The Kolar's UFO flap refers to a series of UFO sightings and encounters that occurred in the coastal town of Colares, Brazil, between 1977 and 1978. It began in October 1977, when residents of the town reported strange lights and unidentified flying objects in the sky. Witnesses described luminous spheres and dish-shaped craft that emitted beams of light towards them. Many reported physical effects, including burns, purportedly caused by the beams. As the sightings continued, the Brazilian Air Force became involved and launched an investigation known as Operation Saucer. The military sent a team of officers to collect evidence and interview witnesses. During the investigation, more than 80 people in Colores claimed to have been targeted by the mysterious beams. They also reported a range of effects, including temporary paralysis, memory loss, and even blood drainage. Some residents were so fearful that they began wearing metal plates and carrying mirrors to protect themselves. Imagine driving through the woods late at night, and when you turn on your headlights, you suddenly see this figure standing in the middle of the road, just a few feet away from you. According to an article in La Republica, villagers from a tribe in Peru reported being attacked by mysterious aliens. In response to these alarming incidents, the community organized nightly patrols to protect their most vulnerable members, women, children, and the elderly. They also requested assistance from the Peruvian authorities, including the military, to increase their protection. The villagers claim they had experienced multiple attacks, including an incident where a 15-year-old girl had to be hospitalized. Their community leader stated that the girl managed to escape, but was injured during the struggle. The beings are described as towering 6 foot 6 inch or 2 meter tall creatures, and the villagers have given them the nickname Los Pelicaras, meaning face peelers. They provided further details about the creatures, including the round shoes that allow them to hover, elongated heads, masks, and yellowish eyes. Alarmingly, the aliens seemed to be immune to harm, as they claimed to have shot one, but it had no effect. Other members of the community have reported similar sightings of these beings, and they were wearing dark hoods and harassing villagers. For several years, Russell Elliott has lived amidst strange occurrences in his home in Black Forest, Colorado. His house is only two minutes away from the infamous Black Forest Haunted House, a place believed to be a rainbow vortex. This concept is often seen in metaphysical and spiritual discussions as a swirling energy field that can enhance spiritual experiences or serve as a portal to other dimensions. This location has attracted the attention of paranormal investigators and thrill seekers over the years. After witnessing bizarre light formations in the nearby forest, Ellie began documenting his experience with a home video camera. The footage shows him carefully scanning the eerie landscape of the Black Forest on a cold, foreboding night. As he explores the area, an overwhelming silence hangs in the air, so deep you could almost hear a pin drop. However, this uneasy stillness is abruptly broken when Elliot points his camera at a specific spot, capturing an alien hiding in the barn. This makes viewers wonder what exactly Elliot had stumbled upon in the shadows of the forest. The Falcon Lake incident is a remarkable UFO encounter that took place on May 20th, 1967, near Falcon Lake, Manitoba, Canada. The incident involved a close counter and subsequent physical injuries to Stefan McCulloch, a Canadian industrial mechanic. Stefan claimed that while prospecting for minerals near Falcon Lake, he saw two cigar-shaped objects descend from the sky. One of the objects landed nearby, and he approached it out of curiosity. As he got closer, he noticed that the object emitted a warm humming sound and had a hatch of numerous openings. After attempting to communicate with the beings inside, Stefan reportedly experienced a blast of hot air or gas that ignited his clothing. He suffered burns on his chest and abdomen, which exhibited a grid-like pattern. Following the incident, he sought medical attention, and his injuries were documented. Stefan was extensively interviewed by investigators from various agencies, including Royal Canadian Mounted Police and the Royal Canadian Air Force. Many authorities were involved in the case, but unfortunately, few answers have been obtained. The Ickley Moore alien incident is one of the most remarkable UFO sightings in the United Kingdom, involving a retired police officer named Philip Spencer. On December 1st, 1987, while walking across the Ickley Moor in West Yorkshire, England, Spencer encountered an alien and took a photo of it. Spencer's experience began early in the morning, 
when he set out with a camera to take photos of the moorland. During his walk, he noticed a strange being, which he described as having large black eyes, pointed ears, long arms, and hoof-like feet. The creature gestured at him, indicating he shouldn't come closer. After this encounter, Spencer claimed to have seen a UFO rapidly taken off. He managed to snap a photo of the creature, which has since become a point of interest for UFO enthusiasts. The photo was analyzed by experts, who suggested that the image had not been tampered with. Creepy, huh? The next video was uploaded by a man named Will Anderson, who claims to have obtained secret documents from a former employee who worked at Area 51. According to him, the footage I'm about to show you is 100% authentic. We see a person walking through one of the underground facilities at Area 51. The hallways are quite dark, and most of the rooms he passes are locked. At one point, he hears something coming from one of the rooms and tries to open the door. What happens next is unbelievable. From the right side of the room, an alien suddenly appears, seemingly locked up, and the man gets scared and runs away. Opinions in the comments are divided. Some believe he encountered a real alien, while others think it's not convincing enough. The USS Nimitz UFO incident is a highly significant UFO sighting that occurred in November 2004. The incident involved multiple personnel of the United States Navy encountering an unidentified flying object off the coast of San Diego, California. It occurred while the USS Nimitz, a nuclear power aircraft carrier, and its associated strike group were conducting exercises. Crew members observed several unidentified aerial phenomena with extraordinary flight capabilities. These objects were tracked by advanced radar systems and visually observed by experienced military pilots. One of the most notable encounters involved Commander David Fravor, a Navy fighter pilot. David reported seeing a tic-tac-shaped object hovering above the ocean and exhibiting rapid and unpredictable movements. When he approached, the object reportedly accelerated and disappeared within seconds. The incident gained significant attention when it was publicly disclosed by the New York Times in 2017 and by former Blink-182 musician Tom DeLonge. In the next photo, we see a doctor wheeling a strange creature through what appears to be a hospital, seemingly unaware that they were being filmed. When the footage surfaced online, it immediately sparked curiosity and speculation. With its large head and prominent eyes, the creature bore no resemblance to a human. So could this be proof of a real alien? Many began to wonder where the creature came from, who had discovered it, and what tests were being conducted. Another notable detail is that the alien was being transported in a wheelchair, which suggests two possible scenarios. Either it was the result of a scientific experiment, or the alien was injured and was being cared for at the hospital. The person pushing the wheelchair was wearing a full hazmat suit, raising the question of whether full protective clothing was necessary. Does this mean the alien could potentially be dangerous? The Belgian UFO wave refers to a series of sightings of triangular-shaped UFOs in Belgium between 1989 and 1990. Eyewitnesses reported seeing large black triangular objects in the sky with bright lights at each corner. These objects were described as silent and capable of remarkable maneuvers. Some witnesses also claimed to have seen smaller objects flying near the larger triangles. The Belgian military conducted an investigation, known as Operation Triangle, and officially acknowledged the sightings. They sent F-16 fighter jets to intercept the objects, but failed to obtain definitive proof. This event sparked interest from both the public and UFOologists, and it continues to be a subject of debate and speculation today. Skeptics suggest that the sightings may be misidentifications of conventional aircraft or experimental military aircraft. Advocates, however, argue that the wave represents a genuine phenomenon of unknown origin. The Vargina UFO incident refers to a series of events that took place in January 1996 in Vargina, Brazil. Several residents reported sightings of unidentified flying objects and strange creatures. This incident has become one of the most well-known UFO cases in Brazil. It all started when the rumors circulated that a UFO had crashed in Vargina. Several residents claimed to have seen strange creatures in the area, with some reports that these beings were captured by the military. Various witnesses, including three local girls, reported encounters with what they described as extraterrestrial beings. The incident garnered significant media attention, which contributed to its fame. Reports included claims of animal deaths at a local zoo, and even a story about a woman who was allegedly impregnated by an alien. This incident also had a lasting impact on local culture and tourism. They even sold merchandise, such as gray alien dolls. Check out this leaked video footage from classified sources that has been circulating online, raising questions about the extent of government secrets. The video reportedly shows a military unit sent to a suspected UFO crash site. There, they found an alien that had been piloting the UFO spacecraft, and they managed to capture the alien and secure it to a stretcher. However, skeptics claim that the video is staged, while many believe higher powers are attempting to cover up the incident. 
It's somewhat understandable why extraterrestrial beings might choose to land in a forest or jungle, but maybe they weren't aware of how treacherous some of these areas can be. Few things could pull an entire unit of professional soldiers into the middle of a forest, but the body of an alien is certainly one of them. The seriousness of this encounter is highlighted by the grim expressions on the soldiers' faces. Furthermore, if they captured an alien body alive or not, what would they do with it? Would they conduct experiments or try to save the being? What do you think? The Westall School UFO encounter took place on April 6, 1966, in Melbourne, Australia, involving multiple witnesses, primarily students and teachers from Westall High School. The event is considered one of Australia's most significant UFO mysteries. On April 6, 1966, more than 300 students and staff at the school witnessed multiple unidentified flying objects silently flying through the sky before landing in a nearby field. During recess, students spotted a silver saucer-shaped object descending from the sky, estimated to be about twice the size of a family car. The UFO hovered briefly in the air before landing behind a row of trees in an open field known as the Grange. Many reported seeing one or more saucer-shaped objects performing rapid maneuvers. Students and teachers rushed outside to view the object, which remained on the ground briefly before taking off and disappearing. Witnesses also reported feeling intimidated in encounters with men in black suits after this incident. An Australian YouTuber uploaded a video in April 2011 where he films his cat going outside at night, probably hunting birds or small mammals. As his cat runs off, he films the area, but after a while, he sees something in the distance. He zooms in with his camera and is shocked to see an alien-like creature standing in the bushes. At first, the boy couldn't believe his eyes, but after looking again, he decided to walk toward the alien to get a closer look. As you can probably guess, the alien had disappeared by the time he got there. When the boy walked back to the house and looked again, he suddenly saw a red light coming from the bushes. It's possible the alien ran back to its UFO. Some people in the comments suggest it could have been a person with a laser pointer, while others believe he really captured an alien on camera. What do you think? In the early morning of September 19, 1976, several calls were made to the command post of the Iranian Air Force at Marabit International Airport, reporting strange objects in the sky. Witnesses described the object as bird-like or resembling a helicopter with a light. Initially, the Air Force Command dismissed the reports as stars, but upon further investigation, they dispatched an F-4 Phantom II fighter jet to investigate the object. The UFO was at a considerable distance, and despite the capabilities of the F-4, the pilot was unable to catch up. Eventually, the pilots attempted to intercept the object, but their instruments malfunctioned and communication was disrupted. However, the UFO was also observed on radar by ground control. As the pilots approached the object, it emitted a powerful beam of light that temporarily disabled their weapon and communication systems. The incident lasted for several minutes before the object rapidly ascended and disappeared. The incident was thoroughly investigated by both Iranian and American military officials, but remains a mystery to this day. The Filiberto Caponi alien is a close encounter of the third kind that took place in 1993 in Italy. Caponi, a young man at the time, claimed to have had multiple encounters with a humanoid being, which he described as a being around 80 to 90 centimeters tall. These encounters reportedly began in May 1993 and continued until October 1993, during which he managed to take six Polaroid photos of this creature. His first encounter was triggered by a noise he heard, which he described as an animal in distress. When he investigated, he saw the creature appear in a crackling energy field. This first sighting led to further encounters, during which he took the photos that would later become a subject of discussion and investigation. The photos were published on October 28, 1993 in the Italian magazine Visto, and later even shown on a TV program on November 5, 1993. The Mantle UFO incident occurred on January 7, 1948, and is one of the early and well-known cases in UFO history. It involves the death of Captain Thomas F. Mantle, a pilot with the Kentucky Air National Guard, while pursuing an unidentified aerial object. On that day, the Kentucky State Police and the military base Fort Knox received reports of a large circular object in the sky. Thomas, along with other pilots, took off to pursue the object. According to the eyewitness reports, the aircraft climbed to a tremendous altitude during the pursuit of the object. Unfortunately, Thomas's plane crashed and he lost his life. The official cause of death was determined to be oxygen deprivation due to the high altitude of the aircraft. However, reports of the incident immediately led to speculation and controversy. The nature of the object that Thomas was pursuing remains a subject of debate. Initial reports suggested that it was a flying saucer or UFO of extraterrestrial origin. However, later investigations by the US Air Force concluded that Thomas was likely pursuing a weather balloon associated with the top secret project. Do you believe that story? 
The story of Jonathan Reed's alien encounter is a well-known UFO and abduction event that gained attention in the late 1990s. According to Reed, he encountered an alien in the woods while hiking near Seattle in October 1996. The story he tells includes extraordinary claims, such as him allegedly killing the alien with a stick and storing the body in his freezer. He also claimed that during his walk, he saw the alien turn to white ash after his dog came into contact with it. Panicking, Reed struck the alien with a stick and then took the alien's body home, where he stored it in his freezer. One of the stranger aspects of Reed's story is the bracelet he claimed to have found near the alien. Reed said that this bracelet was a form of alien tech, which allowed him to teleport or travel through time when he wore it. He demonstrated the bracelet during interviews, claiming it had special powers. Reed also provided photos and videos that he said documented his encounter with this alien. According to the next video, a Mexican officer obtained footage in 1987 of an alien-like creature filmed at a secret military base known as G-13 in the United States. The government had apparently captured an alien and was trying to gather info about extraterrestrial life, space travel, and alien tech. The story goes they were testing the alien for light sensitivity, reflexes, intelligence, and many other things. Unfortunately, the footage is very short, so I have no idea if it's real or not. I couldn't find any other info about the video, so I'll leave it up to you to decide if it's real. Do you think this alien looks believable, or do you think the footage was created using computer graphics? On December 9, 1965, in Kecksburg, Pennsylvania, USA, a UFO was reportedly seen by numerous witnesses streaking through the sky in several states, including Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Many described it as a bright, fiery object with a trailing tail. Witnesses reported that the object changed direction and appeared to descend towards the Kecksburg area, where some residents claimed to have witnessed it crash in a wooded area. Some likened it to an acorn or bell-shaped craft with a hieroglyphic-like marking on its surface. Others also report the object emitted a blue light and smoke. After the crash, there were reports of a presence of military and government personnel in the area. It's alleged that the military personnel wore radiation suits, quarantined the crash site, and removed the object on a flatbed truck. Officially, both the US Air Force and NASA denied involvement in this incident. The Air Force initially stated that the sightings was caused by a meteorite breakup in the atmosphere, while NASA suggested it was likely the re-entry of a Russian satellite. However, these explanations were met with skepticism, and there's individuals who believe that this was a cover-up. UFO enthusiasts are excited about a resurfaced clip that is claimed to show a real alien walking through a field. When this footage appeared online, it sparked wild speculation that aliens have been secretly visiting Earth for a long time. A video filmed from a distance shows a tall, unusual figure with long limbs, which is alarmed to many in field discussions. Local residents also reported seeing a mysterious flying saucer-shaped object in the sky around that same time. It's not just the strange way the alien walks, but also its appearance, fitting the description of a non-human being, with long limbs and a bulbous head. These testimonials have only fueled the excitement among UFO fans, who see a connection between the clip and countless historical stories, that, and countless historical stories of UFOs. On September 27, 1989, an alleged extraterrestrial encounter reportedly took place in Voronezh, a city in southwestern Russia. The incident garnered significant attention due to the number of witnesses, including children. According to accounts from multiple witnesses, a large object descended and landed in a park. The object was described as metallic and had a dome top. Witnesses claimed that a hatch opened on this large-shaped object, revealing three strange beings. These beings were described as humanoid in appearance, about 10 feet or 3 meters tall, with large heads and glowing eyes. Furthermore, they were dressed in silver suits and moved in a robotic or mechanical manner. One of the witnesses reported that one of the beings held a small device that emitted a beam of light and briefly encased a boy in a small transparent sphere. Other people said they felt paralyzed or experienced a sense of fear when the UFO landed. Some witnesses also claimed to have seen a floating robotic device near the UFO. You can find the strangest things when you open up old wooden crates, especially when they're in remote locations. The person who posted this video claimed to have discovered an alien hiding in an isolated location, stored inside a large wooden crate. When this clip surfaced online, it sent shockwaves across the internet. As the sheets covering the mysterious being were pulled away, a humanoid figure appeared, which looked no more than skeletal remains. Its features, an unusually large head and small stature, strongly resembled the image of aliens we know from popular culture. Some viewers speculated that the creature could date back to ancient times, and that this might be evidence of alien contact. Do you believe that too? The Dyatlov Pass incident refers to the mysterious and tragic deaths of nine experienced hikers in the Ural Mountains of Russia in February 1959. 
The hiking group, consisting of eight men and two women, was in the northern part of the Soviet Union. They embarked on an expedition to reach the summit of Oterton, a mountain in the Ural Mountains. However, when they did not return as planned, a search and rescue operation was initiated. Several days later, the hikers' bodies were discovered in a remote area, scattered over a distance of about half a mile or a kilometer. The bodies exhibited unusual injuries, including broken ribs, a skull fracture, and one of the victims was missing her tongue. Their tent was reported to have been torn open from the inside, suggesting they had tried to flee in panic. Footprints in the snow indicated that some of the hikers had fled barefoot or only in socks. Despite the freezing cold, the Russian government's investigation also revealed the presence of radiation on some of the hikers' clothing. What on earth happened to them? What do you think? While researching aliens, I came across the next video on YouTube, which was originally uploaded to Reddit. We see an empty room with two small ladders being used for house renovations, and at some point, an alien-like creature walks into the room. The aliens look smaller than the average human, and has a grayish body with black eyes. It looks very much like an alien, but since little is known about the video, I don't know if it's real or not. The footage is also not very clear, and at one point, it looks like the alien teleports to the other side of the room. Why the alien even entered the room is unknown. Maybe it was looking for something. Do you believe this video is real, or do you think the alien's fake? The Rendlesham Forest UFO incident, also known as Britain's Roswell, is a famous and well-documented event that occurred in late December 1980 in Suffolk, England. Several personnel from the United States Air Force, stationed at the RAF Woodbridge base, witnessed the phenomenon firsthand. On the evening of December 26, 1980, the personnel of the U.S. Air Force security reported strange lights in the nearby Rendlesham Forest. The initial sighting was prompted by reports of unusual lights descending into the forest. Jim and John entered the forest to investigate, and claimed to have encountered a triangular craft with bright lights. Jim reportedly approached the craft and touched its surface, noticing strange symbols engraved on it. The object then ascended and disappeared. The following night, on December 27th, more sightings occurred. Lieutenant Colonel Charles Holt and his team also witnessed strange lights in the forest that day. They observed a pulsating object emitting beams of light and displaying irregular movements, and Charles recorded the events on an audio tape. The Rendlesham Forest incident garnered attention when reports of the sightings and subsequent investigations leaked. Officially, the British Ministry of Defense classified the incident as unexplained. What's the strangest thing you found, or could possibly find in your grandparents' nightstand? The story goes that this person found the photo while clearing out his grandfather's house, hidden in the nightstand, where it had been lying unnoticed for years. As for the identity of the grandfather, he was a military man stationed at Wright-Patterson's Air Force Base. This base, located northeast of Dayton, Ohio, spans parts of Green and Montgomery counties. It's one of the largest and most important military installations in the United States, covering over 8,000 acres and supported by more than 100 associated units. The base is often linked with various urban legends, especially those involving alleged UFO sightings and extraterrestrial research, particularly in connection with Hangar 18. The Kaikoura Lights incident refers to a series of sightings of unidentified aerial phenomena that occurred over a two-night period in December 1978, near the town of Kaikoura in New Zealand. The sightings garnered significant attention due to the large number of witnesses, including experienced pilots and air traffic controllers, and the presence of photographic and radar evidence. The incident began on the evening of December 21st, 1978, when a cargo plane operated by Safe Air reported seeing a series of strange lights in the sky. The lights were described as orange and white, and moved in an unusual manner, sometimes appearing to merge and separate. Several crew members managed to capture some of the lights on camera. Shortly after the initial sighting, a commercial aircraft from Air New Zealand had a plane from the New Zealand Air Force that was dispatched to investigate. The pilots of these aircraft also reported seeing the lights and confirmed their unusual behavior. The strange aerial phenomenon was also observed and tracked on radar by both civilian and military radar systems. The New Zealand government eventually conducted an investigation known as the Eden Inquiry, which involved interviewing witnesses and analyzing available evidence. In 1999, a man in London spotted a strange flying object near his home. He managed to snap four photos of small, shadowy figures snooping around behind his fence. The mysterious beings made barely audible sounds as they appeared to be searching for something before suddenly disappearing. This event is regarded as one of the most credible moments of extraterrestrial beings roaming the countryside. 
Fortunately, the aliens were unaware of the brave photographer capturing the images. Sadly, we have few additional details about what these photos were taken of. Sadly, we have few additional details about when these photos were taken, or the identity of the photographer. The photos show an alien peering through the gaps in the fence, with dark black eyes and an oval-shaped face. And two other pictures show not only one, but two aliens walking around. What do you think they were discussing? And why do you think the aliens would wander in a clearly residential area? Was the UFO far away, or did they come here by another means? What do you think? The crew of the USS Theodore Roosevelt, a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier of the United States Navy, observed multiple UFOs in 2014 and 2015. The incidents gained more attention when the story was revealed to the public in December 2017 by the New York Times and the Washington Post. These reports included videos captured by Navy pilots depicting encounters with unidentified objects. These videos, known as the Fleur 1, Gimbal, and Go Fast videos, were later officially released by the U.S. Department of Defense in 2020. After the public disclosure, the U.S. government acknowledged the existence of the AATIP program a secret initiative with the DIA that investigated UFO sightings. The AATIP, active from 2007 to 2012, aimed to assess potential encounters with unidentified aerial phenomena. What do you think the aircraft carrier's crew saw up in the sky? Let me know in the comments. You know those photos of aliens that look like they're straight out of a cartoon? When you imagine an alien being captured by the military, what image pops in your head immediately? This video shows what clearly is a dark night for humanity, as an alien appears to have been captured by the government. But according to the people in the comments, it's not a puppet. There seems to be real life in the alien's eyes. Its skin tone and how it sags looks eerily real. Its body is restrained, and the people understandably seemed afraid of it. What do you think happened to this alien? And the ultimate question, what do you think they did with its body after? At the beginning of 2011, a video circulated on YouTube showing an extraterrestrial being known as Skinny Bob. If you've ever searched for alien videos before, there's a good chance you've come across this one. In my opinion, this is one of the most believable alien videos that I've ever seen. It's been analyzed by many people who believe the facial expressions of the alien look real. Others think the alien was created for a film or documentary, but no one's ever come forward to claim the footage. According to digital animation experts, the facial expressions of this alien are almost impossible to replicate, meaning it could very well be an alien. The video was reportedly filmed sometime between 1942 and 1969, and the alien is said to come from a star system 39.7 light years away from Earth. To this day, this video remains one of the most convincing pieces of alien footage ever captured on camera. But what do you think about it? Is it real? The Maury Island incident refers to an alleged UFO sighting. The subsequent events took place in 1947 near Maury Island, located in Puget Sound, Washington, USA. It's often considered one of the earliest modern incidents related to UFOs in American history, just a few days before the more well-known Roswell incident. On June 21, 1947, Harold Dahl, a local harbor worker, claimed to have seen six identified flying objects while he was on his boat. According to Harold's account, one of the UFOs emitted a substance that descended onto his boat, injuring his son and killing their dog. He also said that a man in a dark suit visited him a day later and warned him not to talk about the incident. Harold shared his story with his supervisor, Fred Chrisman, who, in turn, contacted two investigators from the magazine Amazing Stories, Ray Palmer and Kenneth Arnold. On June 25, 1947, Kenneth Harold and Fred met to discuss the incident. Shortly after their meeting, Kenneth would have his own famous sighting of nine unidentified objects flying near Mount Rainer. Are we, the regular citizens, the last to know with concrete proof that extraterrestrial beings from other planets actually exist? And could governments around the world already be aware and actively hiding that we may have diplomatic relations with them? Leaked footage circulating on the internet reportedly comes from a secret American base and allegedly shows an alien in conversation with a man. The alien is tall and humanoid, strongly resembling the classic gray aliens with large dark eyes. While the two seem to be communicating, they do so without speaking apparently communicating non-verbally, perhaps even telepathically. The truth behind the footage remains elusive, and authorities have yet to issue a statement about it. At the end of the clip, they shake hands, raising questions about what was discussed during the meeting. Do you believe aliens exist? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.